I'm Nick Tolton from Not Sports. I'm one of the multi-sports project development managers and today we're here at Christ College in Finchley. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is speaking with Daniel Nielsen who's the head of PE, just talking through his experience through Not Sports, through the tendering process, design, getting through planning right through to our, our relationship with the uh, contractor on site and managing the construction process. So yeah, we'll uh, hear from Daniel now and see what his experience with Not Sports is like. Um, without the fast track funding it would have made it extremely difficult for us to, to be able to build this facility. Um, fast track funding meant that we didn't have to find um, the capital up front which is obviously very difficult in this current educational climate for schools with budgets being squeezed and getting tighter and tighter um, and it meant we were able to pay or we will be able to pay sorry the, uh, the, f the, the payment costs back over spread over a number of years meaning we can use the income generated from the facility to pay for the facility so in effect fast track funding has meant that our facility will pay for itself uh, over a number of years which is a fantastic position um, for a school to be in. Um, so we, we researched a, a number of different routes um, for funding for the project um, and we just felt the fast track funding meant we had the most options uh, as a school. There was no constrictions on the uh, restrictions sorry on the pitch use um, and it meant we, we were free to operate the pitch exactly as we wanted to um, while still being able to actually um, deliver the pitch and, and the projects. And the, the proposal for a, a pitch here has been, been going on for a, a very, very long time, before my time in fact. And again, a number of different sources of income and funding have been looked at, um, but none of them ever really were feasible for us. Um, could go through all of the different options, but fast track funding gave the most freedom and in the current climate allowed us to be able to build this pitch. Um, so with our, our, our projections of our, our business model, we, we predict we'd be looking at between 100 and 200,000 per year and that's, that's pricing very, very conservatively and, and looking at making sure our pitch is the cheapest locally to ensure that all of the local clubs and teams and, and soccer schools get good opportunity to use a great facility. Um, we have a lot of competition in this area but we're very very confident that we can fill the pitch because of the quality of the facility and our um, attitude towards the pricing. It would have been very, very difficult to make a business case. Um, I mean, I personally, along with our deputy heads, had to go to the governors and present a, a business plan to show how the uh, AstroTurf would work for us and how we would be able to pay for it and fund it. And without the help of Not Sport and the figures from Fast Track funding, that would have made it very, very difficult. I was able to give very clear projections about the cost of the project each year and how we would be able to make that money from the AstroTurf itself and also have a little bit left over over on top which could be used for other areas within the school. Um, so yeah, once again the, the experience from Not Sport from beginning to end has been fantastic. Um, they've helped us with absolutely everything we've needed and the work with, uh, with the planning um, especially was excellent and you know to get planning in London for a facility such as this with floodlights can prove to be very very difficult um, but it was a completely hiccup free process and when we had our bids in from the contractors when we had our tenders in uh, Not Sport sat down with us helped us work through those um, helped us with the initial contractor meeting and the build itself Touchwood has been completely problem free uh, and I think that's mainly due to the interaction between Not Sport and the contractors, meaning we've been able to just carry on with our normal school lives without any problems or interference. Um, so the, the AstroTurf project had been something that myself and Mr Olesanya, our head teacher, had been discussing for a few months. Um, Mr Olesanya was introduced to um, Not Sport at an Academy's exhibition. Um, he gave me the contact details and asked me to get in touch and see how and if we could work together with Not Sport and we just went from there. So 
So the, the delivery of PE will be changed uh, immeasurably for us. It will, it will make our, the learning experience for our pupils a million times better. And when the, the new Ashita facility is, is ready, it will mean we have a high quality uh, outdoor facility that we can use all year round. Uh, the floodlights will mean uh, we can go in through winter, in, in through the dark evenings. Um, we'll be able to continue to play our sports fixtures here even when the weather gets bad and it will just really change the, the learning experience for all of our pupils. So our, where we stand at the moment, our field, not only does it, does it slope ridiculously, which means um, playing any kind of decent game of football um, was very, very difficult. Um, the field also flooded from October onwards and without exaggerating, we wouldn't get it back until probably May time. Um, again, the Ashton Surf will mean through those winter months, we can do our PE lessons outdoors um, on a high quality flat surface. And we can also play all of our sports fixtures, all of our football fixtures. Uh, we can play them here. We can play all of our home games here, um, which will be a great improvement for us. I mean, not, not sport have been great, and, and I don't exaggerate when I say I really don't think this would have happened without their help. Um, right from the initial consultancy, showing us what pitches we could get in, going through the costs, um, the help with all the, the, the funding, with the fast track funding, um, and not sport have always just been a phone call or an email away for any of our concerns and any of our problems. So right from the beginning, getting approval from our governors to then getting the planning permission, not sport have been absolutely fantastic and I would highly recommend them to you.